Olá pessoal, estou aqui na, no FTF 2015 uh, com o Rafa, ele vai falar um pouco sobre o IMX6. Hello Rafa. Hello, I'm Rafael Molevski, I am the head of GTEC at uh, Freescale. We run the graphics team for microcontrollers. And what we've brought here today is a comparison of the IMX6 Quad and the IMX6 Quad Plus, which is the new enhanced version. And what we're focusing on here is comparing the graphics performance of the new device. And we've made a couple of tests that isolate the various performance improvements that we've done. So, this demo runs on a carousel, it's gonna switch over now. So what we're gonna see here is the texturing performance of the new device. We have a Gaussian blur shader running, which needs 73 texels per fragment generated. On the IMX6 quad, so we have it, here, yep, this needs to go out to DDR memory a lot because we're trashing the texture cache. On the new board, this is 18 and this is 30, 38. 38, it is yeah, a yeah. bit over double the performance. Yeah, double the performance. Yeah, and it's okay. because the texture cache on this has been increased okay. and it doesn't need to go to DDR to fetch all the data to run the shader. Yes. So next up, we're going to have fur rendering. What this stresses is the DDR throughput from the GPU out to memory. So we're rendering the same object multiple times, extending it to grow hairs. Okay. And this is very heavy on the DDR traffic. And you're seeing we're getting 31 FPS here, 44 FPS here. And this is on the poor memory throughput from the GPU to DDR, which means you can feed your GPU faster, you can process more data, you can keep the shaders happy with this. Yeah. And speaking of shaders, we have shader performance comparison also. So we have a Julia Fractal running on both boards. This and is this mathematics. Is, this is mathematics, right? This is all, all math. All no texture reading, anything else. This is way. pure math. And this is going to be fluctuating in you know, mid-30s up to 40. This is going to be mid-40s up to 50, roughly, that it runs. And this comes from the increased um, shader frequency. So it's been bumped to 720 uh, megahertz. So this allows you to process more data, create more fancy effects for your UI. And then finally, we have the difference between the old and the new version of the composition engine, so the GC320. Here, the old GC320, this is eight layers full HD that are being composited together to the frame buffer. This requires eight individual lit operations. On the new device, we can do this in one pass. It reads eight sources, blends down to one source in one go. Twice as fast, and the memory bandwidth consumption is really reduced. And this is the most impressive test, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, it's because we've done our best to show the quad still running good, this just running better. But for this specific use case, the difference is just so huge. And the old board doesn't really keep up to do 8 layer 1080p composition. So the, uh, this solution, the IMX6 Quad Plus, uh, has definitely advantage according to the, the, uh, how uh, it can process really image in real time, right? Yes. So definitely it's on the graphics rendering and then on the bus performance that graphics we have made rendering. the biggest changes. Okay. So if you're doing devices that need a lot of graphics power, yeah. or you're doing devices that need a lot of different uh, yeah. AXI bus masters rendering. accessing all at once, Okay. This is the board for you, definitely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good to see you. Bye, Rafa.